Well, there's been a lot of talk about a comeback in the M&A market, but analysts over at Morgan Stanley and Stanford Bernstein are saying not so fast. Markets reporter Sheila Damarajan has more on why it could take a while to see a full M&A recovery. Sheila? That's right, John. You know, despite all of this talk about a comeback in M&A volume, Morgan Stanley and Stanford Bernstein, they think that 2010 won't be especially busy for dealmakers. Dieter Trowski, he's the head of Morgan Stanley's European M&A practice, he told Bloomberg News that the first year after the trough is always one of gentle recovery. And he went on to say that it's going to take a couple of years to get back up to peak volumes. Now, to break down the numbers and to give you a sense of what he's talking about, m and volume fell about 34% this year. So it took it down to about $1.75 trillion. And then if you look at next year, both Morgan Stanley and Sanford Bernstein predict that M&A could actually rise by about 30%. So even if we were to achieve those growth levels, John, that's not enough to beat 2008 or even come close to reaching those 2000 levels. So definitely still a few years away before we see peak volumes, John. Okay, but as you said, there is this expectation that you are going to see some deals. So what kind of deals should we be looking for? Well, you know, certainly there is going to be some recovery, and the type of deals that people think we might see are really in the smaller end of the scale. So Richard Ginwright, he's from Ernst & Young. He was recently on Bloomberg, and here's what he had to say about that. We have seen an uptick in divestitures, and, and we're encouraged by that. I think that's a sign of corporations looking to grow uh, through acquisition, and they're using divestitures as a way to reposition their balance sheet, to free up capital, to create uh, the, the kind of uh, you know, currency that they need to grow in the new year. So we're, we're optimistic we'll see more of that activity. So we will see more activity, but it's going to be on the smaller side of things. And, John, over 50% of the respondents in Bloomberg's 2010 M&A outlook did agree with that. They thought deals would actually fall in that $250 million to $1 billion range. So certainly kind of more classic middle market deals. All right. Sheila, thanks for that.